Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here. And today, once again, I have a very, very special guest that is just going to blow your mind. And it's going to make you a better inventor. It's going to show you how to pitch your ideas so they get licensed or they get bought or all these different things that you could do. Colette, thank you for joining us. And pronounce your last name for me so I get it correctly for the audience. Uh, Colette Leantonio. Leantonio. Okay, thank you. Um, I've got some notes here because your resume is so impressive that I've had to write some notes because you've been in the business and you call it yell and sell. Is that what you call it? Well, the early days were yell and sell. <laughs> I I hope some of our productions at this point are more brand oriented. Okay. Uh, that's the hot button. Okay. So let's, let's go through some of your resume real quick. So everybody gets an idea who we have on our channel and what type of advice you're gonna give and why it's so important to listen to you. Um, first of all, um, I have here that you've been, you've been in the industry of producing uh, commercials to sell products um, for over 40 years. That's a long career, is it over 40 years? Well, in 1979, I made my first direct response commercial. Um, so yeah, it's over 40 years. In 1983, I started Concepts TV Productions. Okay, and we're gonna put that link down below so everybody can find that. Um, you you are known as the queen of info commercials. I read that somewhere, is that true? Not commercials, infomercials. Okay, infomercials, okay. Um, and you have done about a billion dollars in sales for your clients. It, it might be more at this point. I okay. don't always track what they do, but a lot of the commercials have created household names. Got it. All right. And we're going to go, we're going to show some of these commercials too, so everybody can see it because they're just wonderful. Um, you have produced over 4,000 long uh, and short. Less than 4,000, more than 3,000, okay. somewhere in there, because in the early days, I didn't keep track on the computer as we do now. And we would do many variations on one commercial. Right. So that's not individual yeah. commercials. And it's, you're in the DRTV, what, DRTV Hall of Fame? What is, tell us what that is. It, I mean. Yeah, I got the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award a few years back. I guess they were trying to get rid of me, but I'm not leaving. <laughs> And I got the um, uh, direct response Hall of Fame in um, from what is now called PDMI. Okay. And I'm in the New Jersey Advertising okay. Hall of Fame. So some some nice honors along the way. Yeah, it says over 150 awards too. So congratulations on such a wonderful career of helping us creative people sell our products because that's really what you're doing. That's what I do. Okay, congratulations. Now, before we get into some of the details, let's show some of the commercials that you've done. Now, I'm going to start with one of my favorites. Okay. It's from one of our students, and now as a coach, Ryan Diaz. Uh, um, the Wolf Washer 360. James, could you please run that for us now? Rover loves to play, but he ends up filthy from the day. Bathing is a struggle, and what a mess. Introducing Wolf Washer 360, the amazing dog washing system that washes your dog in less than one minute. Watch, connect Wolf Washer 360 to your hose, add soap, pop it open, and turn it on. The soap and water instantly mix, creating a sudsy solution that scrubs Rover clean from head to toe. There's two modes, one for suds and one for rinse. The secret is the miracle arc of water jets that gently spray your dog all over for 100% clean. Clean. Harsh sprays scare your pet away, but Wolf Washer 360 pressure control handle adjusts the pressure to your dog's liking. Low pressure for a sudsy, soothing massage, or a higher pressure for a deeper clean. Wolf Washer 360 feels so good, your dog will beg to stay for a massaging spray. All right, let's talk about this commercial. When I first saw it, it was on Facebook. I think it was on Facebook, and, and there was no sound even, um, but it just went big. Well, that's the, um, sometimes I think it's the sad part. I, I'm a writer, I'm a copywriter, but the words aren't nearly as important as the pictures, as we all know uh, from the adage, you know, good pictures worth a thousand words and all that. But um, it, it aired in error. 
So it wasn't ready for prime time. It wasn't ready for media. And it, it inadvertently got posted to okay. Facebook and it went gangbusters. It went viral. Yeah, and I, mean, I, <laughs> I mean, tens tens of millions. I thought I saw a number of 100 million views or something crazy. It In the first two weeks, um, it got posted and it went around the world. That was the interesting okay. phenomena at the phenomenon at the time okay. because it got picked up I think in uh, Slovakia <laughs> and then somebody in England saw this Slo Slovakian post and I don't even know how it all worked but it went viral truly. Okay. All right now let's um, I want to talk a little bit about we'll talk about why these things go big and, and the art of the pitch okay but you've done a lot of other commercials in fact I've, I've written them all of them down because I mean there's so many but I just picked a couple that I thought were very interesting. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the gray away, gray away. I mean, I've got gray hair and I love that product. And tell us a little bit about that. Two weeks after coloring your hair, those gray roots start to show. EverPro Beauty introduces a revolutionary breakthrough in hair care with Gray Away, the instant temporary root touch-up spray. Spray the gray away in 10 seconds. It's the fastest, easiest way to look years younger. The smart solution to temporarily touch up gray roots between visits to your colorist. Spray the gray away with the precision pinpoint applicator for truly targeted coverage. EverPro Beauty Gray Away's rich formula last until your next shampoo. Um, that came through a person who worked for a company and left and became a consultant. And she called me because she, she knew how many hair commercials I had done. Okay. So they hired me to do an image oriented hair commercial. And um, a lot of us women of a certain age don't want to completely dye their hair. Okay. Um, at that little, you know, skunk mark through the middle. So that Spray Away was about, and it became um, a big gangbuster hit at retail. It was from a very big company, Mana, and um, I was shocked myself at how big it became. All right. But you know, we've done Topsy Tail, which was an old inventor's show, and and we've done a lot of work for Conair and. Well, many yeah, let's talk about the Conair for just a minute because uh, it's the Conair Thermo Spa. That was a really nice. Piece that you did for yeah, them too. That Are you tired from tension? Sore from stress? Now you can treat yourself to the ultimate relaxing experience with the new Thermal Spa Bath Mat from Conair. In the privacy of your own home, you can indulge yourself with an exhilarating soak in soothing swirls of warm water like a spa. Sink into the ultra soft cushions. 300 individual aeration vents provide a constant stream of heated bubbles designed to gently caress your tense, tired muscles. You can even concentrate the massaging action on a specific body area. The floating remote control lets you customize the bubbling action from gentle to random to pulsating bubbles. Five speeds in all. Choose the ideal spa experience for you. It's different than what we usually did for them, and it was a really fun commercial to do. You know, the challenge, of course, you have a naked person in a in a tub. You can't have a naked person in a tub. So bubbles are your friend. Um, and you want to show the bubbles moving at all times. Okay. And the person was not naked, but that's the image. Now you've got a fun. lot of a lot of pet ones too, right? A lot of pet commercials. I saw that. Uh, yeah, uh, currently we have a uh, fur zapper on the air. Uh, we have um, Pretty Litter, which is a cat product. That's always difficult because cats don't listen. Okay. And you do, and we're currently producing still more pet commercials. Okay, that seems like a hot topic. And that's, you know, that industry is really on fire. The one that I thought was also interesting, you've done one for Girl Scouts. I saw that too, right? Well, they um, honored me as a uh, woman of achievement. Oh, okay. and. And so, you know, I worked with them. I do do pro bono work. I've done work for the March of Dimes. I saw uh, that so, too. Okay. Um, you know, we we're, we currently work for the uh, Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey addressing the opioid epidemic. Okay. And, uh, and fentanyl. And and I have teenage grandsons and I, it's, a, it's, it's a, a topic that I think is so important mm -hmm. right now. Okay. So... You've done a wonderful job, great commercials. A lot of these products we all know. So, and you have, you've turned them into household names is what you've done. And some of them, 
not. It's always it's always wonderful to be watching a late night TV and see one of my spots come on and know that yeah. people know or go into the CBS and see yeah. um, as seen on TV section and see all the work that I've done. Yeah, that's very exciting. So I want to talk a little bit about the art of the pitch, because I think what you're so good at can be applied to a lot of different industries. Right. And I, I started thinking about this because if if I'm going on Shark Tank and if I know how to pitch with some of the techniques I want you to talk about in just a minute, that's going to help me on Shark Tank, maybe QVC. That's going to help me raise money. That's going to help me get a licensing deal. That's going to help me really zero in on my point of difference, the benefit of my idea of why someone would purchase it, want it, invest in it. Is that true? Absolutely. Um, the more you can in, a, in an elevator pitch, I mean, nobody's going to belabor, you know, hours of listening to you or reading. Um, you know, if you can show a very great demonstration so they get it, get an aha moment. If you can prove that it's already sold somewhere, for instance, if you go to the local fair, Okay. Um, the local farmer's market, and you sell your product, and you can prove to people, look at this, people are clamoring for my product. If you've gone on QVC and okay. sold out, okay. if you have a success story anywhere, okay. that's really imperative that you convey that to the investor or those people that want to be involved. I want to talk a little bit about, and I wrote this down, I think it's interesting. So let's say someone comes to you, and they show you the product, and maybe they have sold some, of course, and they maybe they've done uh, trade shows, maybe they pitched it to retailers, and they really know their point. They know their selling point, their unique selling proposition, okay? And how do they present to you for you to capture the magic, right? How does that work? Well, if they trust me <laughs> to do that, and, you know, very often people hire you to do certain things and then they kind of backtrack. Oh. But um, for instance, recently we have a very great product coming out, which has been out in Home Depot and it's called Drain Weasel. Oh. And we saw their demonstration at a trade show. They have this clear pipe system Okay. And we looked at it and I thought that is magic because once a clog is under the sink, I can't see it. How okay. do I convey that to the audience? Right. Well, there's two ways to do that. You can do animation. It's costly, but it's a very effective way to convey how something works that's not clearly visible. Like if you put your head down on a pillow and supposedly the pillow has air circulating, I can't show that other than animation. All but right. this particular company has this fabulous piece of equipment that they show at trade shows. So in addition to shooting a commercial where I showed how the drain weasel clears clogs from sinks and tubs and showers, um, I asked them to please ship me that demonstration. And I used that product because it was so amazing. Their demonstration at the trade shows that actually gathered people around told me this is the magic moment. Oh. And so I wanted to incorporate that into my spot. It okay. wasn't the only part of the spot, okay. but boy, it was effective. Okay. So it's really helpful if someone knows what that magic moment, I love that, that magic moment. Let's talk about that for a minute. How do you know? when you see it is it like that feeling you get is it a wow factor how do you know when that you see that magic or is it just something you just kind of your gut tells you no it's no gut it's it's an aha moment because okay. visually it says what it may take me an hour to tell you in one moment you get it and okay. anybody can get it if you show the right visuals now i reinforce it with the cgi on the screen you know the words that you put at the bottom of the screen the supers i reinforce it with the talent that's going to okay. demonstrate it. I make sure the eye doesn't go to the the girl's um, nose ring instead okay. of looking at my product. I mean, I'm very careful the okay. way I cast, the okay. way I dress people. You'll notice I wear blue. That's sincere blue. Okay. Um, and dress for success, that's how lawyers dress their, their okay. clients. Okay. So I'm very cognizant of all the details, the okay. props. Every prop should say something. Oh, interesting. So 
So when someone's working with you, they're probably showing you their pitch, their marketing material, their product, or everything they have as assets. Do you look at all of that and go, all right, let's let's really zero in and talk to them and they help you too. But what, what happens if you disagree with it? Right. Well, very often I, I get overruled. I mean, I don't know why they pay me, but um, I do get overruled. And okay. sometimes they do allow when there's a faux pas and it and it airs and it doesn't perform. I say, can we do it my way now? And they'll allow me to recut it. Okay. I've had that frequently because people are so uh, single minded, you know, especially if it's your baby and you're an inventor. You're like, no, it has to be done this way. Well, it doesn't always. Um, I recently... Okay. Um, the end of last year, had a uh, commercial for a fitness product. Okay. And it was, it was, I tore my hair out because they wanted to put everything but the kitchen sink in it. And people uh, need time to absorb. Okay. And instead of allowing the visuals to speak for themselves, okay. they insisted on loading the screen with words all over and Whoa. a second visual coming in and a third visual you know people get all excited they want their quad splits they want their triple splits well unfortunately we're just mere human beings who can absorb just so much at a time and multitasking is not a okay. real thing so um the argument i lost and right. the product did not perform. And I do believe I could make it work if I could clean it up. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes everybody blows their wad on the media and then they can't fix it. Okay. So can you talk a little bit about the, the benefit versus features, right? I mean, some products have a big benefit. We, we, we're always stressing to our audience that you have to convey the big benefit. Why do I care? Why, why am I going to use your product? Why am I going to care? And then here are some of the features, but they're all sometimes they're tied into all these little features that add up to the big benefit, but they get caught up in the features. Do you have that problem? Very much so, particularly with inventors, because right. they really strive hard to make a good product. And okay. so they'll put a little extra screw on that makes it not break easily, but okay. nobody cares about that extra screw. What they do care about is the word, durability and guaranteed for two or three years. That's okay. how I convey that benefit. Not by uh -huh. showing them the beautiful screw that got them the patent, okay. but rather, what do you get out of that beautiful little screw on the side of your widget? And, and that's what people have to appreciate, that the consumer really doesn't care about your design. And the inventors are so obsessed with design, that's sometimes where we get into a little okay. tug of war. All right. And good, I love good. the design, but I want it to sell. Okay. And that's what's so important to me and what I'll argue with you about. Okay, wonderful. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the timing. You know, you don't have a lot of time to convey that message. No. Right? Less no, all. <laughs> all right. So how important is to to convey, you know, I've seen this 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 um this problem solution you see that all the time yes um, how do, is that a great format i mean it seems a very fast format i can show a problem i'm struggling and then i go the solution is my invention is that something you do too is that a is that a typical or not uh, um it's changing uh in the old days and i go back to the early days all right. uh, we would do three problems in a row oh. three problems that got solved. Uh oh, oh no, has this ever happened to you? Okay. That was that was formulaic. Okay. And I had a lot of clients that wouldn't even let me di diverge from that formula. Okay. And then you would say, of course, your product is the solution. And then this is how you can use it. And then it's the secret. And then you get to the end, the most important part, your offer. Okay. And that's your formula. And I've written about the formula frequently. Now, today's world, People have this much attention span and it's oh. it's getting smaller. I don't have time to tell you the problem. Okay. I go for it, um, particularly since the commercial format has gone from two minutes to one minute to 30 seconds, if I get that much, and okay. then 15. So I don't have time for your problem. I only have try time for your okay. solution. Oh. Um, and social media is that much worse because they give me eight seconds, six seconds, and then I just show a magic moment. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for that. Keeping it current. That's such a great bit of advice. Thank you for that. 
okay, let's talk about today's world. You have TikTok, you have Instagram. You, I mean, Facebook and LinkedIn. I mean, you've got it all coming at you and it is shorter. So is that the reason why? I mean, like if you were going to do something on TikTok, which you have what so many seconds to do that, um, are you doing commercials for TikTok? Is that happening now? No, but I'm using stars from TikTok, but okay. I haven't gone on TikTok, um, mostly because my clients don't want to. When it comes to media and where you're going, that's not my bailiwick. Okay. So um, the thing the thing with social media or any, if you want to be on Facebook and Instagram okay. and all, and you should be, omni-channel is the watchword right now. As Hit them with as many places as you can, as many impressions. It's always right. been advertising wisdom okay. but if you want to be in all those places you can't ask me to shoot for one hour i need to shoot a day okay and i need to show all those and then we need to change it up because the tiktok audience or the instagram audience doesn't okay. watch anything twice whereas on tv we expected <laughs> nudity and you know you have to keep mixing it up so okay. i try to get my clients that only want to be on social media only want to be digital and on the internet to at least film a day and let me do 10, oh. 10 pieces okay. for information. Right. So they have some flexibility because every platform is a little bit different, exactly. the structure, okay, the audience, okay. That's really good information to have. Now, I saw a video the other day that wasn't high production. In fact, it was kind of done with a phone, but there You're was done. a magic moment. Yeah. And... And I, I realized to myself, it's really about that magic moment, right? And absolutely, so you, yeah, you can do it. Um, you is can there any, do. It. Yes. Yeah, um, is there any tips and advice for an inventor out there on a budget um, that you could give them if they were shooting that magic moment from an angle, the lighting, anything else? Little, sure. Okay. Absolutely. They they turn the phone sideways. All right. Um, that's almost universal. You've got to go to 4K on your iPhone and right. 30 something. You know, I'm not the technical person, but I know how to shoot on my iPhone. Okay. Um, outdoor lighting works beautifully. Okay. Indoor, not so much. Right. And make sure it doesn't look cheap. Okay. If your kitchen is cluttered and you're shooting oh. a kitchen product. My eye is going everywhere except oh. your product. Huh. Clean up your act make everything clean and pure as you possibly can. Um, of course, if you're shooting exercise, make the person be a fit person. I mean, make the product sing to its best advantage. Um, showing, you know, the, there's an authenticity to shooting like that. And I, I like that very much, but I do object to the clutter because it pulls my eyes from what you're trying to sell. So clean it up. Okay. Um, if you have a, an attractive, uh, but not overly attractive friend or relative that you'd like, or a well-spoken person, if you're doing audio, use them. Okay. Um, because you don't want people sitting there looking at somebody's, I don't know, um, flaws okay. in their face or right. uh, a body part. You, you, you don't want them to be distracted. My dog is barking in the background. You don't want that when you're doing a professional. You want people to have faith okay. in your product. So it has to look a little professional and okay. like they can trust you to buy this. Okay. You know what's really interesting? I'm glad you said that about cleaning it up and the little details. I, I love that. I also love about the lighting on outside. Some of that natural lighting is really, really wonderful. In the morning, maybe closer to sunset, seems like that lighting is just beautiful. Can Magic. you talk... Uh, yeah, can you talk a little bit about being authentic and why is that important today? Is it a trust issue? Um, I know everybody with the camera thinks they're, you know, you know they're a whatever today. It oh. drives you crazy, some, some of them. The, okay. the authenticity, I, I love a real inventor who's passionate, okay. who just, when that comes across, I am in love. Right. I just think that's terrific. When I, the problem sometimes with people, they want me to hire actors as testimonials and mm -hmm. that comes across as fake. Okay. Um, so there's nothing better than having somebody who's used your product, 
and is crazy for your product. Now you need to record them quite a bit. They're not professionals, I assume. Okay. So you got to find those moments and it's all in the editing at that point. I interview many, many testimonials that are real people. I ask people for who do you have in my in my zone okay. so that I don't have to fly people from all over. And if you get those real people that really used it to their advantage and they're crazy about the product, that's who I want. Having said that, I'd rather see a demo than a talking head. The talking oh. head for me is if it's a pain relief or okay. something esoteric that I can't convey in the demo, because to me, the demo trumps everything. Oh. But many products need the testimonial rather than the demo. Oh, okay. Um, one last question. What about angles? Is there anything about, do you do close-ups, far out? I mean, how do you it's handle all that? Size matters. Okay. So uh, when I cast perhaps um, a fitness commercial, I want to make sure that the person that is on, let's just say a bicycle, okay. is not too big for the bike or too small. If I shoot up at them, they're going to appear larger. If I shoot down at them, they may appear smaller. If I'm doing a vacuum cleaner, I need to get down at that level. If I'm filming an animal, I need to get down at their level. Angles are so important because a product can look like a toy and diminished if you don't show it in the proper perspective. I'm a director, so my eye automatically tells you where you need to be. Okay. And that's so important. Wonderful. Claude, thank you so much. You know, thank you. Yeah, this information is remarkable, and and you've mm -hmm. had such a wonderful career. And I would just want to tell everybody, look, you guys, she's the best at this. And if you want more information, find her. It's Concepts TV. Is that right? We're going to put all the information down Concepts below. Dot com. Yes, Concepts TV dot com. And I, and I, my next generation. I work with my son. My daughter is an influencer who's wildly successful all over the world at romaru.com. So we're, we're um, and, and my other daughter's an artist. So we're an artistic family that has enjoyed um, interacting with the world. We're not like starving artists in the corner. We like to be out there playing. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming on InventRight TV and for this wonderful article. Um, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephen. Have a great day.